Hello, my name's Artemis, and MFF has obviously just happened, and therefore that means there's been some shit happening with furry conventions, because it's MFF. Everything that happens at a furry convention happens there, and when there's drama, that's the one. I don't know why, it's just a magnet for it. It always seems to have the big news stories. But it has got me thinking, there are many, many different things around furry conventions that we need to fix, we need to work on, as a fandom, as people who organise conventions, as people who partake in them. There are things that we can do to be better. So, who better to fucking talk about that than some dickhead on the internet who has never once organised anything even close to a furry convention? Let's get into it. So this first point might be quite a big one, but it's also something that we don't see in my particular country, because every con here is 18+, plus. but are fur cons actually furry friendly, or are they supposed to all be 18+, plus and we're pretending otherwise? Because I'm seeing a lot of stuff going on at various conventions, a lot of people bringing up a lot of things that's making me think that you kind of need to shit or get off the pot. Like, MFF has just happened, and there's always stuff that happens at MFF. Always. It seems to be the con where everything happens. Uh, but one of the ones that's sort of been brought up is the fact that people are just not obeying the rules when it comes to fetish gear, and the time limits and restraints and whereabouts that's appropriate, and what is and isn't. So I had a little look at the terms and conditions of going to MFF, say that you'll adhere to these rules, but who the fuck is enforcing it? Quite frankly, how do you enforce it? That's fucking difficult. But who's even enforcing it? And to me, it's starting to feel a little bit like organisers are basically sidestepping their responsibilities when it comes to safeguarding kids who are coming to the event that they're organising. Because they're just putting the blame out onto the people, saying like, well, we've put some rules in that are pretty vague and open to interpretation, and uh, it's not our fault if people aren't obeying it, because look how many people arrive. That's part of organising a fucking event, okay? Now, you can say no fetish gear all you want. Define it. Clear, clean-cut examples with clear definitions definitions of what's going to happen if you breach these fucking rules. We can be family friendly, I guess. That's something that's possible. Comic-Cons do it. I don't think we should, my personal opinion. All furry conventions should be 18+. plus, Flat out. This is nice that we can share this part of the community with minors because a lot of us find it when we're minors. And when you are of that age and you want to meet people who are your people, this is a very attractive thing to come to, but the furry fandom is inherently adult. That doesn't mean it's necessarily sexual, that doesn't mean that everything about it is not safe for work, but it is adult-orientated. Everything is directed to and around adults, and bringing minors into that space feels fucking irresponsible. Especially at a convention where there's so many fucking people, and not a lot of infrastructure to protect all of those people. I'm just gonna fucking say it. We largely operate an under-18s do not interact policy on social media. Pretty much everybody is on board with that message. I am an adult. If you are not, then don't interact with me because it's inappropriate. It's not right. Why is that different at a furry convention? If anything, it should be more stringent there. It should be more readily in effect. So why do we allow this? And more importantly, why aren't furry conventions planning for all of this shit? You can keep all of the adult stuff separate as much as you think you're able to. You can put up a separate dealer's den for the dicks. You can say, oh, no one can wear fetish gear until the evening. People are people and they can't be fucking trusted. They will bend and break these rules or just flat out fucking ignore them. And sometimes I can't say I blame them. Most furry conventions are assumed to be adult only spaces. It's gonna be a shock if you turn up at MFF for instance, with your fucking jock strap on and not a lot else, and that might be fine in other cons, and now suddenly there's fucking kids running around. So I can sort of understand it. It's still fucking inappropriate in public, but whatever. That's just how it fucking goes. Either way, you're always going to run up against this problem. And it's about time that you make a firm decision of, right, we are family friendly, and therefore we are enforcing all of this shit, and you cannot be getting away with it. Or, fuck it, we can't enforce this shit, people will always get away with it, so no more minors. We get it. You want to be the biggest fur con in the world. You have fucking responsibilities here, it's about time you did something about it. Now, as I have mentioned in many videos, one of the cornerstones of the furry fandom is the supporting of our artists, our creators, our makers, our independent people who give us everything that we love about this fandom. We love them, we want to support them, and we go to conventions to do that. We go to conventions and commit financial atrocities on ourselves to support these people by getting all that juicy merchandise that we crave so much. And that's a big part of it. And we love going and seeing makers that we specifically like. People even buy fursuits there, it's amazing. So, one thing we can do 
as a convention is ensure that as many of these independent makers get in. Now it's harder fuck enough to figure out who's gonna get in your dealer's den, how they're gonna get a room and a hotel, all of that jazz. The logistics behind it are a nightmare. Everybody's got different needs, bringing different amounts of things, set up time. It's already hard enough as an artist who wants to be a dealer, who wants to go to a convention and try and make some money. It's already hard enough. You're fighting an uphill battle. So when you see the cheap, fucking crap that arrives in dealers dens these days that take up potentially the space of six fucking tables of just imported stuff that you see all over the goddamn place these days that every town and city has many stores that have all of this fucking crap the shit that you don't need to go to a fucking furry convention to buy it's very fucking disheartening because a lot of us look at this space and think of all the artists that are pissed that they couldn't make it. All the artists that didn't get a slot, didn't get a table, didn't get through on the lottery. But this fucking did. This shit. This bullshit, essentially. This is not what it's about. We're supposed to be caring for the artists. We already don't have a very secure dealer's den. That will be the next point, by the way. We already have problems that make it very difficult for them to come and do these things. It costs a lot for anybody to do a convention, but this is their business. This is their life. This is how they feed themselves. It's already hard enough. And then we're putting up, up against this cheap crap, which can undercut so easily because it's all just crap mass produced. I No, we don't need to be doing this. We don't need to be giving space to this. Now we're seeing this across many different conventions, both furry and others, where just random fucking piece of shit traders are finding their way in. And I get it. A convention is a business. It needs to make money to be able to operate and therefore you need to ensure that you have people that can pay for the table space and generate the money. I get it. I do. You want to make sure you can cater to as many people as possible. This ain't the fucking way though, okay? This is not the fucking way. There are so many furry creators that would love that table space. What a fucking waste it was to give it to this shit. Tighter security is another thing that I really do think needs to come into it. Now, this is very difficult. Conventions are obviously staffed up by volunteers who are not getting paid and are giving up their free time to do it. It's a very big, intricate beast to try and plan one of these things, and a hell of a lot more work goes into it than any of us will understand. Yes, I fully acknowledge all of that, but that doesn't get you out of all of the responsibilities that any other event organizer is going to run up against, and security is definitely one of them. These conventions are targets. They are massive targets. If you you need proof of that? Remember the time the Proud Boys were threatening to rock up to MFF and start fights? Do you remember when Milo Yiannopoulos wanted to do the same fucking thing? Because I got interviewed by Rolling Stone magazine for that, and yeah, flex. But these are big targets, and more importantly, we have a lot of dealers coming. We have a lot of people bringing a lot of very expensive things to these cons. Confuzzled has had cars stolen. We've had people in the fandom have merch stolen all the time, and thefts in dealers' dens seem to be on the rise, as does general dickishness. Case in point, the motherfucker who decided to use a signal jammer in the dealers' den and blocked people's fucking card payments. Why? Because they're a cunt. There's no other reason you would do that. You are a cunt if you do that thing. It serves no purpose. No one's going to find it funny. It's just cunt behavior. And not even like the serving cunt sis kind of way. It's just you're an asshole. And there wasn't really an awful lot to deal with that, is there? There's not really any infrastructure in place to check with that. But beyond that, every convention has the problem of having an insecure area that isn't secured well enough. I mean, you have dealers that want to be a part of the dealer's den and they insist on having rooms in the main hotel because they can't ensure the safety of the very things that give them their livelihood. The very reason they're here is to be a dealer, to make money, to sell their craft. If you can't trust that it will be safe in that room overnight and you're not in the main hotel, it is not a good move for you to do this con. We need to be better at this in all fucking ways. And yeah, it's difficult. Cons are hard to organize. Security costs money. Not all volunteers are going to be able to do it. But as fur cons get bigger, these are the problems you run up against. And it's not even just financial. We have assaults. We have sexual harassment, sexual assault going on at these conventions. And I get that there's only so much you will ever be able to do with that when you are not the literal police. But with this lack of infrastructure, with this lack of centralization of we have very physical, visible security that is actively dealing with these things, you are creating, maybe not intentionally, but you are creating an environment where people feel like they can get away with this. People can go and steal shit 
and what really comes of it. People can go and grope a random fursuiter and disappear into the crowd because there's nobody really there to make them feel like I would be gore if I did this. The bigger we get, these are the problems we deal with. I'm not going to throw blame, I'm not going to say it's your individual fault, but every fucking person who's on a convention should be thinking about these things and finding ways to mitigate them. Now, I should just say I've never organised a convention in my life. What the fuck right do I have to complain about any of this shit? A lot of it is based on my own personal opinions, beliefs and all of that jazz. So I'm not saying take my word as gospel, I'm sharing my opinions, okay? These are things that I think, think, should be worked on and things that are obviously quite divisive. Well, everyone's going to have an opinion on, you know, minors entering furry conventions or not. And that opinion is going to be based on many things. For instance, I found the fandom when I was like 23. So it was never a problem for me. I was never hitting an age barrier, but many people do. So it's going to be different. And I understand that. I'm not saying that my way is right. I'm not saying that your way is wrong. This is just how I think and feel. And I thought I would verbalize it in a video because that's just the kind of shit I do. And obviously, I'm not looking to deliberately point out conventions for their flaws and say, your shit, your shit, your shit. The conventions still run, they still do well, they're still successful and people still enjoy them. There are just always going to be things that we need to pick up on and these things seem like they really need fucking picking up on. And I'm not going to say that they're deliberately doing these things because they're not. But sometimes you have to feel like, look, you're clearly aware this is a problem that you need to address. You just don't want to do it because you're scared. That's fine, that's understandable. Doesn't mean that you don't still have to address it, but there we go. But yes, thank you very much for watching. Let me know, are there any other things that you think conventions should be working on? Was I right or wrong about my little things here? What do you have to say? Comment down below. I will read them. I will probably re forget to respond to them, but don't worry, I, I do read them. Um, and also, if you are looking down below, you might see some links for certain things you might want to go and check out, like the feet pics, because, you know, we do that shit. You know we do that shit in this house. It's a shoes-off house, and... Uh, we make money with that if we can, so why not? But um, that sounded a bit more predatory than I wanted it to. It's just my feet, don't worry. Uh, but there's also merchandise that you can check out, which would just be just so lovely. You might need yourself a hoodie in this colder time of the year. I say that every week. Somebody buy a fucking hoodie. That would be lovely. The cushions are also fucking awesome. You should really try that. Like I know I'm biased, but for real, the cushions are fucking comfy. You should give that a fucking look. And you could also check us out on Patreon, help me live, help me survive. Um, I have been told by numerous people that's allegedly a good thing. Um, can't speak to the accuracy of that claim, but um, I, I am alive. If you would like to support that living, that would be absolutely amazing. And here's a way that you can do it. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I guess I'll see you all next week. Bye!